Soon the soul energy will all be mine. You understand what it is, right? Soul energy is wonder itself. Every mountain, every ocean, every pissy little goblin. They're held together by the imagination of a tyrannical tweenager. Well, if it can make entire worlds, it can unmake them. I'm gonna take this madhouse prison, this Wonderlands, and I'm gonna free us all from her control. The Wastard said the Pyramid is surrounded by a city of the dead. We'll have to find a way in. The Fatemaker seeks the power necessary to emerge triumphant. It is close now. It need only be taken up by heroic hands. Give me a look at you. The power of friendship One of the Dragon Lord's barrier hexes stands in your way. The West showed us how to deal with that. Just find a dispel room nearby. My body to never hero. Lifted. Hero, did you do this? Ja. 
Thank the Diamond Queen you came along. Come, my shelter is up here on the wall. This way. It's closer than it looks. Jump! That egg's trapped me here for days, and you dispelled it all on your own. You must have powers beyond mortal ken. Yeah, I'm pretty powerful. In fact, I'm on my way to defeat the Dragon Lord. Then your path is through the Hall of Heroes. I know it well, though I was too weak to reach it. Come. This way. When I heard of the Queen's death, I journeyed here, hoping the latent soul energy of this city would allow me to bring her back. Perhaps you could succeed where I failed. Illusion magic. The only reason I wasn't picked off by skeleton patrols. You must reach the All of Heroes, beyond the inner wall. The Dragon Lord is using the Wells of Sin to keep it blocked off. If you can cleanse the Wells, you will lift the Axis. Only by cleansing the Wells of Sin. Can you take down the barrier, Hexes, blocking your way? Did you hear what that old guy said? We can bring back Mud Stallion. I don't know. She built <clears throat> a pretty grisly fate. Ah, uh, but you forget, dear friend. Fate does not divide us. Fate brings us together. How is it gonna bring her head and her body back together? I haven't thought that through yet. <clears throat> Never send a corpse to do a killer's job. Don't tell me every flesh bag, you're 
the will of wrath. The will of wrath drums with soul energy. Blocking your way forward to the fall of you. I'm getting a little tired of cleaning these old dead people's pipes. What are we, plumbers? Heroic plumbers? Nah, it'll never catch on. Ray Soaring, thunder out of the Well of Wrath. To tear you butt to jaw. <laughs> I think I'm done with these hexes now. I just want to get to the boss. What? <laughs> no need to rush. We're having fun. Whoa, uh, roadblock. You're going to have to go through the ancient uh, catacombs. Oh, no. Tina, are you padding out the campaign so that we'll stay here and play bunkers and badass? <laughs> the opportunity. With all this soul energy flowing to me, I can create all sorts of new nightmares. This city was built by a civilization of advanced sorcerers named the Vatu. I've launched an eon of dark campaigns from here, but it was dead long before I arrived. The Vatu understood what soul energy was. They designed the city itself to siphon it out of the world. They used it to rule like arrogant gods at the expense of everyone else. Actually, a pretty good gig for the other. I'll skip the rest of the exposition since you know where it's going. The Vatu and their souls were absorbed by the very arcane mechanisms they created. Classic. Just goes to show. <laughs> No one stays the master forever. Lucky you. you didn't know there were fate makers before you all heroes of their own stories but they never lived up to their namesake they just played her game and went through the motions because that's exactly what she wants take these creations of mine they exist only to do my bidding and when they fail I'll just make a hundred more because they're disposable like you Ooh, luck going up. Oh! <laughs> 
wants you to think you're special, unique, one of a kind. Do you even have a name, Fate Maker? Has anyone ever said it? Has she? Yeah, didn't think so. We rise from the sand from catacombs, following the twisted cables of the ancient Vatu soul eating mechanisms. Okay, newbie, to the Hall of Heroes! arcane device has been erected before the hexed entrance to the Hall of Heroes. It's got a fancy name and a lot of syllables, but basically, it's a giant sweet-ass magic laser that you can use to pull This speaks to me. Hey, those guys are hanging out around our giant sweet-ass magic laser. Kick their asses. that they say no rest for the wicked you hear a familiar whinny and for a moment you feel hope it's like a dream but this is not your queen it's a nightmare Shudders and dies. 
sorry. This is messed up. Don't play me. Play the Dragon Lord. Oh yeah, sure. Play me. It can never be her that twists good things into monsters. It can never be her fault. Only I know better. Let me show you. <laughs> Miles of war. Those scrolls weren't prophecies. I wanted to show you what she did to me. What she's doing to you all over again. Okay, Tina. This is your first time playing, right? I mean, yeah. Who would I play with? Everyone else I know is dead. What's it called? Bunkers and Badasses. It's a fantasy game. A place where you can be a hero. Where your imagination can change the world. Ooh, I'm the best at imagining, baby. I got a whole wonderland. That's perfect. But first, we gotta make a character. Tell me about your Fate Maker. The Fate Maker's tale begins as so many do. With a heart full of fire and dreams full of dragons and magic. He's the coolest, most powerful hero that everyone wants to be friends with. Dragon Knight! Dragon Knight? Yeah, I like it. Thank you. Hey, this is probably dumb to say, and, um... It's just really cool to play a game with a friend, because I, I haven't really... I haven't really had one. Well, let's go make some more. Tina. I want to make this an adventure you'll never forget. It feels like something lost long ago has been found again. It feels like... Home. You reach the inner chamber of the Obsidian Geek. The Sword of Souls sits before you. Now, this is a big choice, so... He takes it, and he blows up every bad guy everywhere! Are you sure? Oh yeah, oh yeah! But that turns your character evil. What? No, girl, Dragon Knight ain't evil. He's, he's a hero. He's a fight maker. Uh, he just blew up thousands of people. Don't you think that's evil? It's not evil, but this is stupid. I'm not playing this anymore. You know what? I'm gonna be the bunker master, and then I'll make sure only heroes win. Tina, wait. alone. Abandoned for a crime he never chose. He's never chosen anything. He begins to think for himself. No more dice or fate. No more masters. He, I, dream of dragons and magic. I awaken, my heart filled with fire and purpose. Resurrection! I am reborn! The Dragon Lord! Do you still believe there's a choice, Fate Maker? I do things my own way. No one tells me otherwise. I hoped you could see the truth. I'm not evil. She just writes me this way. Well, come on then. If you insist on being a hero, there's only one way for this to end. Only one task remains. Ascend the pyramid, defeat the Dragon Lord, and take back the Sword of Souls. Okay, so that's like three one tasks, but do it! Take them down, newbie! You can do this! For you are the Fate Maker! <laughs> 